If you're in the market for a compact luxury SUV, this is the 2019 Lexus UX and 250, and it just might be the one for you, or maybe not. I'm in this video, I'm gonna tell you five things I like about it, five things I don't like about it, on a very rainy day in Western Nebraska. So uh, I may be in the cabin quite a bit, but that's okay. Because that's where the things I don't really care for, the things I really do care for, are in the cabin. Yeah, stay with us. We're gonna get started right now. Hey, it's Demester Little Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. If that's your passion too, hit subscribe below, hit bell notification to be notified new videos put out. If you're new to the channel, which you may be, I do uh, SUV reviews, truck reviews, I talk about truck topics, I do different stories, I'm a journalist by trade. So uh, it's kind of fun. Pop a top, or pour some bourbon in your coffee, or sit back and relax. We'll talk about this. So I've been a journalist now for about a decade and I've driven many Lexus products. And this is the newest Lexus product. This is the UX. And so they're making a smaller, compact SUV meant for people that don't want to drive the sedans. And so they have this IS250, which I've driven as well in the sedan. That's before I stopped doing car stuff. And uh, I thought it was terrible. I couldn't sit in it. The seats bugged me. It actually literally hurt. The 250 and 350, I would drive about a mile and I'd be in pain. And so this is the replacement for that. And I gotta say, Thank God, because this is so much better than what that car was. But there's still things that, eh, they can do a little better. Now, I'm a little weird. I have some things that maybe not every customer compla complains about, or things you think about. So if you've never uh, seen this type of video before from me, be prepared, because I'm going to tell you some things that really bug me that you're probably not hearing from other places. So let's get started on looking at the outside. And I'm gonna do a, a quick B-roll as it's raining outside and put it on the screen. Now, I'm a big fan of how it looks. I think it looks sharp. I think the uh, army green, this color, they're gonna call it something else. Let me figure out what they're gonna call it. They call it Nori Green Pearl. I think it's army green looking. I think it's badass. So I'm gonna call it army, army green. Booyah. So I think it looks uh, fantastic. I think the overall design looks pretty good. It's very sharp. It's easy to get in and out of pretty well. I mean, this isn't the highest SUV on the market, so you do have to bend down a little bit to get into it, but I really don't have a whole lot of problems that I do with other products on this channel, I've, I've found. Um, I like the visibility inside, and I'm going to flip this camera around and start showing these uh, things inside. So let's do that right now. So I'm always a big fan of where this is open. I don't know why not every automaker does this. They, they put like a dummy panel here, and it just, it just creates a nice big opening here to visibility. I got a smaller A pillar, but I can still see the farm field I'm parked in front of. Um, I can still see pretty well. I don't have, that doesn't block my view very, very well. Um, I'm a big fan of integration of the steering wheel here. They've done a great job on these buttons and keeping all this nice together. And it's, it's all the similar buttons. Nothing feels weird out of place. I have, uh, the, I will turn off, yeah, the winch wipers. And I have a big, I'm a big fan of the screen. And actually what I should do is I'm gonna turn it off and let it do its thing. Okay, turn off. And then I'm gonna turn it back on because it's really kind of cool. I uh, I know, it's a dorky thing, but I kind of like it. So this UX opens up. Come on. It's like Star Wars. It's like Star Wars, man. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. And then you have this uh, drive mode button here, which frankly, this looks like a, uh, it's weird. Um, I can't do it on camera over here. But uh, it reminds me of like a motorcycle. I got this, I got, I got traction control over here, which is just strange. This is something I don't like about it. It's just a weird placement for these. And I have sport mode, normal mode, and eco mode. And I have an EV mode here, which means you can drive it on EV mode only for a while. And you can hold the battery power only, which means you save gas. Now that's like under 25, 35 miles an hour. You can't really do it very long. But so, but here's the thing. So I'm gonna change the uh, drive mode button. I'm gonna grab my handlebar, I mean uh, the button. <laughs> and I'm gonna change the mode. And it is kind of cool, and you, on the screen over here it shows you sport, and then you go back to eco, and you can go up to normal. Well, it should go to normal. Oh, I gotta push in. Push in for normal. So down is eco. Eco doesn't change here. Up to sport, and back to normal. I guess there's eco. Oh, there it is. The little button shows up on the screen. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I mean, that, I'm, I'm with you there. Um, oh, I was gonna check fuel economy, because I haven't done that. Oh, that's the radio. You turn the radio off. Oh, that reminds me. I really don't like this. 
This is a tune button. This is a radio button. This is the volume button and media button. And there's other buttons on the side. I'm not a fan of that at all. Uh-uh. I want real buttons. Give me real buttons here or there or something like that. Uh, heating controls. Oh, it does have the, um, if your phone is capable, you can charge it here. I like that. And it's got heated and cooled seats, which is really cool. Um, I like that as well. Those are, makes a big difference, luxury. And the trackpad, I mean, I'm a fan of the trackpad. I, this is uh, how you control the screen up here. Um, let me move it around. So it works really well. This is a really big, really cool thing uh, as far as good thing. What am I saying cool thing for? It's cold outside, it's a cool thing. I like how this integrated in. I'm a big fan of that. I don't like the clock. That's just, I understand luxury, luxury has clocks, but what's weird is I have this digital clock here that looks out of place. And I have this clock here that looks out of place. It's just design wise. I think it could be done better. Oh, and I love these seats. Did I say they love these seats? These seats are so much better than that IS thing. They don't grip down. I can move my bag, but here, let me move my bag stuff. And um, they don't hurt. That's the primary thing. Nice wide seat button bottoms, uh, seat buttons, seat bottoms. And I like the handles. I like, I mean, I like that features of it. I just, I mean, this is just weird. It's just a weird placement. And this was just terrible. I think that can be gone. Uh, I'm not a fan of that at all. And uh, I do like the uh, controls here, are a really good placement for the windows and a good handle for the door. So, I mean, this all works. Uh, the black on black on black. I mean, all right. So you can say it's cheap plastic. I mean, this is soft touch up. No. Cheap plastic up there, well, a little soft touch up there, but uh, yeah, I can see it being not a fan of that. So let me uh, let me hop in the back, because actually I've never actually been back there. And let's take a look back there. All right, so I'm back in the uh, second row, and uh, I'm a fan of this. This is gets a good. This is a good for me. I got headroom, I got leg room. It's comfortable. I I don't have complaints. Uh, negative would be a little tight, but you kind of expect that with this kind of car. So no no problems there. Good. This is a, a good use of space. Again, comfortable seats. I could ride back here for a while and uh, be okay. Long road trip? No. But I'm a pickup guy. I want more room. All right, I'm getting rained down. I'll make this quick. I'm a big fan of the space back here. This is a good amount of space. Really fit some luggage down here. You can fit some groceries in here. You know, you're not hauling a lot of stuff back here, but it's a good amount of space. And I got some good storage area for, uh, you know, on the road kits and, and mercy kits. Now, you may not have noticed if you look in there, um, like I showed you, there's no spare tire. Nope, it's got the inflatable system, I'm sure, um, in this setup. No, nope, that's the battery back there. See it down there. Doo -doo -doo. So, uh, it's uh, probably a self-inflatable tire. There's something to do in these days. Uh, I gotta fix that, I made a mess of it. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I want a real spare tire. All right, out here on the road with the 2019 Lexus UX, right? UX, NX, CX, UX, UX. Golly, kind of a weird name. Wish we had real names for these products. Um, but that's what we have. We have a UX, which is the smaller version of the RX, although you kind of, I digress. This is a hybrid, which means it's got a battery and a small engine in it. Total output is 181 horsepower. It's mated to a CVT transmission, that's continuously variable transmission, which means it doesn't have gears. It basically just uses the, um, it just uses a one speed transmission that selects the gears as you go, or something like that. That's basically what you need to know. So on the uh, road, it, it's definitely a Lexus. I mean, you have pretty good quiet. Uh, today is a rainy day in Nebraska, which is rather strange. We really don't have these. And uh, it's pretty quiet on the roads. Um, it handles the bumps pretty well. You know, it's not to me as well as say the RX, my, that's the bigger version, which I like a little bit better than this. Um, but it's definitely not the smaller like RAV4 that Toyota makes. You can tell there's difference between Toyota and Lexus, and it's very apparent in this vehicle. We have the interior setup, we have interior design, looks pretty good. And so, you know, if I'll tell you my five things to like and five things I don't like, you know, on this driving impressions, it's very clear that on the road is something I really like. I mean, for the $42,000 for that price point, and it's a smaller vehicle, but you get a really good ride quality out of it, and I really like that. Now, as far as the bad, um, it'll get up and go, but it just, well, it sounds like I gave it all she had, <laughs> which I probably did. I mean, it's just, there's not a lot there um, as far as additional power. So, you know, if you're driving around town, if you're driving um, moderately and not uh, spirited, 
like maybe I will, uh, it does pretty well. I do have different drive modes on a really interesting stock, which I'll show you here in a minute. That's one of my negatives. It's really weird. It feels like a motorcycle. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that. So I can turn to the sport mode, which um, should give me a little more power, and it does. It's still not, still not amazing. I mean, it's just, you know, it's what it is. You can hear the hamsters running inside the hybrid. Okay, you can't really hear the hamsters, but it's not, it's not an amazing um, get up and go kind of vehicle. But this is, you know, this is the replacement for a compact car. This is something you would buy instead of that. And so you, I don't know that you need that much more power than what you have in this. Um, and I just think it's okay. It corners okay, it drives okay. It's just not, it's not very exciting. That'd be my negative, not very exciting. Let's keep talking here and I'll, I'll do some more things that uh, I like and I don't like about the 2019 Lexus UX. And I really don't like the name. That'd be nothing I don't like <laughs> here in uh, rainy Western Nebraska. All right, I'm back inside where it's nice, safe, and uh, not wet. Uh, so let's recap here. Things I like. I like the design of it. I love the color. I like the uh, interior setup with the screen where it's built into the inside here. I kind of think it's cool how it starts up. And I like on the road driving. It's really quiet and uh, it's a pretty comfortable ride. Things I don't like. It doesn't have a lot of get up and go, which, you know, it just gets old after a while. It doesn't get as exciting as of a drive as you'd want, like long term. But if you don't care about that, you just want something comfortable to drive in, there you go. Um, other things I don't like, I don't like the volume setup here and the radio controls. I think it's just, it's, it's too hard to use. Um, I don't like the not having a tire. I don't like having not a, a spare tire. I know that it's, you can get the cans of air and, and you can do that kind of stuff, but I want a real spare tire. And uh, what else I didn't like? There was something else I didn't like. Oh, I didn't care for so much of the hard plastic around here. I mean, yeah, it's $42,000. But come on, give me some uh, more stuff there. And the clocks. Yep, Timism, I understand. Comments below, rip me apart. But it's kind of weird to have this digital clock and then to have an analog clock. I know anal that luxury cars always have analog clocks, but it's, it's just weird. It doesn't feel right. Um, I like everything else about it. Is it a car I'd buy? Yeah, well, not for me. I mean, it's not something for my wife to drive around town and drive on trips. I need something more ground clearance and you know, more powerful, but that's just me. I'm kind of picky like that. So, hey, if you found this uh, video informative, which I know you did, uh, give me a thumbs up below and uh, give me a subscribe and, and bell location to notify new videos put out. If I can talk, if you hit the bell, it gets notified of new videos. Subscribe, you follow along with all the crazy stuff I do, which I know you want to. So, hey, uh, find us on pickuptrucktalk.com. Pickup, truck, talk, three words. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I put stuff up there all the time. Well, not so much on Twitter. Facebook, I do a lot. Instagram, I'm digressing again. Man, I am just all over the place today. That's okay. As you enjoy this, you're still watching. So, hey, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.